Well, tonight, a Twin Cities mother is talking about her daughter's dark battle with the hope that it will help others. At least I know Anna's happier than she was before. She's at peace. Anna killed herself in January. She was 15. Her mom believes it's time we start talking to teenagers about some tough issues, mental illness and suicide. WCCO's Liz Collins shares the connection to another tragedy that only makes Anna's story that much harder to take. She was definitely a tomboy, but you know, not when she was little. A bright smile marked the beginning of her memories. Adopted at five months old from Guatemala, Anna Plant joined her parents and older brother in Shorewood. She liked to talk to everybody at the store. She'd say, hi, what's your name? <laughs> I'm Anna. At first, a talkative, positive little girl until middle school. All of a sudden, things weren't fun anymore. Mm. Playing soccer wasn't fun either. Anna had facial paralysis, no peripheral vision, and suffered from severe anxiety at an age where no one wants to be different. Everything was just harder for her. Her family took all the signs seriously, putting Anna in counseling and on medication. Still, they didn't realize the full extent of her pain until she swallowed dozens of pills last year. You think, how sad for my daughter that her life's this so terrible that she doesn't want to live. Anna survived that suicide attempt and enrolled in an all-day program for months to be monitored. Then she went to Minnetonka High School, where she'd planned to spend the ninth grade with a friend who'd always stood by her side. She was just such a great kid. She had a smile on her face all the time. It was Brooklyn Short who convinced Anna to get back into soccer. Brooklyn was one of just a few Anna considered a friend. But Brooklyn never started school this year. In September, her dad, Brian, killed his family before taking his own life. Why couldn't it have been me? It's a loss Anna would never get over. Why did it have to be Brooklyn? Brooklyn loved life. I hate life. On a Sunday afternoon in January, Tony took the dogs for a walk. I was gone 15 minutes and came back. And I went downstairs because I, I called for it and hear her. And um, she had hung herself in the closet downstairs. Tony thinks it's time society starts talking about depression and suicide, not ignoring the role it played in a father fighting his own demons. Mental health shouldn't be so hard to get answers to. Before her death, Anna was fixated on the semicolon, a national movement giving people hope to fight through dark times. It takes the place of a period in a sentence, symbolizing a story isn't over. Do you think Anna's story still isn't over? I do, because I'm going to make sure that it happens. It's not over yet. Experts told Liz treatment is usually successful for teenagers struggling with suicidal thoughts, and there is help out there. To find a list of warning signs and help for your own family, we've set up a link on WCCO.com links.